Welcome. This is Documentation Office Hours for the Jenkins Project. It's the 27th of May, Asia time. Thanks for being here. And we will, the topics I've got on the agenda include localization and internationalization, June LTS, that's not from Kevin, uh, the Java 11 epic, Shiko Africa Contributhon, and the one we've had good success on recently, working down a few outdated pull requests. Any other topics you'd like to put on the agenda? Diraj, do you want some time to talk about, about uh, your, get your GSOC project? I think I do not have any doubts on that for now, but okay. if you have anything to discuss, then that would be great as well. All right, yeah, well, so I know that we've got the pipeline steps doc generator. Oh, actually, maybe that's a place for us to ask. Let me put it here as sort of at the end is meeting time flexibility. Um, in case we need it. Okay, so that's one topic for me. Any other topics to add to the agenda? Do we not look at the weekly change logs or what? What about that? Uh, no, weekly change logs, we rely on uh, people to review them during the week or re review them on Monday. Mm, yeah, so sorry. I forgot. we've got the LTS change log that we, we certainly will discuss, but weeklies, we rely on reviews. I guess, I guess I do have one more item, which is next week's meeting. And uh, that one is Mark is out of the office playing in uh, Eastern US. Oh, grandchildren, right? Uh, children, actually, a child, not grandchild. Ah. Child and his wife, and we're going to go have fun, and he's gonna show me his Jenkins installation. But, okay, that, let's stay on topic, Mark. All right, so anything else that needs to go on the agenda? Okay. All right, so next key topic here on localization, crowd in is progressing. Uh, no, I believe no growth in on number of in number of plugins on the site in the last week. So need to internationalize. I've got an example in the uh, priority sorter plugin that I've just completed and Darren Pope and I intend to do another uh, contributing to open source slash modernizing a plugin session, this time on internationalizing a plugin. Any questions on localization, internationalization and internationalization? Okay, GSOC pro projects. Kristen, do you wanna share a um, brief description of the pipeline steps doc generator and what the plans are there? Sure. So. Um... One of the one of the projects, um, Vihan is working or Vihan is working on this um, for improving some of the more complicated steps um, for the doc generator, including mostly the um, infamous stage or I think step. <laughs> one of the ones where it takes like it's very poorly displayed. So we're but part of it is related to code. So he's going to go through and fix the display of that and uh, make some general improvements to the generator. In of it, like just to make it a little bit more uh, usable, maybe extendable outside of everything. So we're trying to get together to be able to start like figuring out when to work on the project, even though I know that he's already set up an environment, has like been able to test things. So that's a big plus. It's just more like figuring out when we want to have meetings. And also I've encouraged him to come to some of these, the doc SIGs meetings, um, either one that he can make just to kind of see what's happening or like to be able to, share progress and then maybe especially like help get reviews especially for um the first part of the project is going to be figuring out what it should look like and we'd really appreciate some re like documentation reviews to make sure it's readable like it looks in a good format just so we start going down like you know coding the right thing don't really want to create like all this work and have this documentation generated and be like oh that doesn't make any sense or oh <laughs> you know so like we should have that type of improvement so it'd be helpful for the 
any type of feedback. We're using the uh, documentation getter channel to talk about the project. So um, again, if you have anything that you'd like to share or on the project, you can watch it happen on the getter and, and everything should be good. Cool. Thank you. So let me embed a, a link to that one there. There, okay, excellent, thanks. Okay, any questions for Kristen on Google Summer of Code Pipeline Step Stock Generator? Next topic then, June LTS change log, upgrade and block, guide and blog post. So Kevin Martins uh, submitted the uh, LTS change log and uh, there are some pending additional changes to it uh, based on feedback, so that's good. Uh, there is an upcoming blog post to guide users that may be affected by the icon change. So what's changed is GIF and PNG images have been dropped, replaced by SVG images, but that means plugins need to adapt their usage so that they don't refer to these long gone plugins. There's a, a worksheet of the plugins that are affected and pull requests for many of them, et cetera. So any questions there? And so why did they replace uh, GIF and PNG images? Is it due to some space constraint? Uh, no, actually, it was so that they could switch the switch the the icons to be themable. So what that means is, if I'm running dark theme, the icons don't disappear, meaning black regions on the edges of icons don't stay black when you're in dark theme. They actually switch color, mm. uh, so it it gives them a facility to do the theming. And yes, it also makes them higher resolution. And so they look better, etc. Uh, it also was a good chance to modernize. Uh, okay, yes, makes sense. So is it so what are the next steps for the plugin maintainer? Is there any or everything will be taken care of? On no, no, they, there are absolutely next steps for plugin maintainers of the affected plugins hmm. uh, need to need to update and release their plugin. And there's a list in a worksheet that notes the affected plugins. And the most popular plugins have already been updated or have pull requests pending. The bigger challenge is what, what we would affectionately call the long tail, the many plugins that have relatively small installation counts, but may be important for someone, even if it's a small installation count. Yes. Yeah. I ask this question because this is something which might also be helpful for my GSOC project as well. Mm. So that's why I wanted to know. That's OK. Yeah, good. Well, and certainly this is, if a plugin has not released in multiple years, that's that's a that's a sort of a negative indicator of health, right? It's most plugins need to release more frequently than that, yes. just to remain healthy. Yes. Any other questions on the June LTS change log and upgrade guide? Okay, next topic then is the required Java 11 epic. This one um, is a, a nice example of effective use of JIRA. What we see here is the issues, the tickets that have been, uh, the issues in JIRA that have been identified related to Java 11, and we're seeing progress on them as we go forward. So we've got two documentation tasks here. This one, packaging updates. And this one that Kevin Martins is handling, 
an upgrade guide that uh, Basil Crow is handling. Oh, I need to assign this to Kevin actually. So, so we've got, we're seeing good progress there and it's coming. So now the, just so everyone's aware, the, the scheduled date is June 21. Weekly will switch to only support Java 11 and not Java 8. So we are less than a month away. Now, the long-term support release won't change until September. So that's the, so June 21, we'll switch to Java 11 in weekly. And then September, um, we'll switch to Java 11 and LTS. Any questions there? I guess in a related note, Java 17 is looking really good. Um, likely fully supported within a few weeks. The work on Java 11 has, has exposed a number of in interesting Java 11 related issues that we found are fixed in Java 17 and we need a backport of the Java 17 fix into Java 11 to resolve it. So it's, it's cool. Meg, did you have a question? No, no. I just, I was sitting here saying nice things saying, yeah, yeah, and I realized you weren't hearing them, so I thought. Oh, uh, okay, all right. Okay, so we've got, we've got good progress there. Really quite pleased with how the Java 11 work is proceeding. There are still some surprises that are happening, and we continue to, continued investigation of, of any issues that are reported related to Java 11. We had one that was really interesting for me anyway, it was a Metaspace memory leak and a workaround has been applied. Uh, it'll require a Java 11, a Java 17 fix has been backported to Java 11, uh, but the earliest it can be actually available in Java 11 would be uh, October of 2022. So the workaround will continue for at least that long. Wow. And there are other, other issues uh, like, I think we had a reconnect issue that had needed some work on it and it's, we're making progress there as well. Any questions on Java 11? Okay, next topic then, Chicote Africa Contributhon. So Saturday is the is the uh, wrap is the concluding meeting. The project is done. Uh, the reports are written. You can read them on read the reports on community.jenkins.io. Uh, the poll requests have been submitted. Many pull requests have been merged. And uh, some reviews still pending. Two or three. Now we still need Mark owes a blog post and a brief video embedded in the blog post. Highlighting the results and the experience. Any question there? Yes. So I was about to ask you about this blog post from your side as well, because I'm also interested to know how was your experience of this program? Oh, oh yeah. So, so in my case, I found it, it was a little more stressful this year than it had been in previous years because we didn't have as many people helping with it, um, but it was, the projects themselves were more successful, I think, than last year. 
because we chose simpler projects. Two of the three projects were quite straightforward. And that was very important because these brand new contributors have to overcome all sorts of hurdles as they are preparing to contribute. Their contribution can be blocked by things that are for longtime users, not, not a problem, but for a brand new user, hey, I've got to get Git installed. I have to install Jenkins. I have to understand what a pipeline is. I have to uh, start it running and deal with it on my computer. I've got to download and install Java. All sorts of things that any one of them could be a barrier. And, and so the choosing simpler projects was a good thing. Did that answer your question, Diraj? Yes, it did. And also I read in the uh, 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 two reports uh, of the participants and under the section of any room for improvement, I think I uh, noticed that both of them suggested that uh, onboarding should be like more easier for them. So what do you think about that? Is it like something that can be improved or is it just something due to the fact that they were new? No, no, I think I think it is very much something that can be improved. The the on so good observation, uh, key key points uh, to improve uh, better onboarding experience for the uh, new contributors. Now we've got detailed instructions. We had detailed instructions for them but did not emphasize strongly enough that they need to follow the detailed instructions and do exactly what is stated there and prove that they did. Whereas last year, what we did was we, we were quite rigorous. You must do step A and you must show us a picture. You must do step B and show us a picture. You must do step C and show us a picture. And that rigor, we stepped away from it this year because we didn't have as many mentors. By stepping away from that rigor, I think we they miss that had they done those rigorous steps, they would have been much more likely to succeed on their onboarding. Exactly. Because I think I saw the onboarding guide and the instructions previously, and I found them like they're very well written. So I was curious about uh, like what was the problem. So now it makes sense because we 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 didn't ask them like each step what's the progress so that's why maybe they jumbled up and maybe lost in between well and and the the step by step guides had some flaws in them as well right because i had created three separate documents and the step by step guides in each document was not tuned to that specific onboarding they were mostly a copy of a base a base thing and and that meant they would reach a point where, hey, this says something that I can't imagine how it's relevant to my project. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's it just, it's it's one of those where we may want to do something like, may may want to do a, uh, do an online lab or something like that. Did they work natively or did they use Gitpod? Um, I don't think any of them actually used Gitpod. Okay. So, so good question. Uh, but in, in this case, most of them were not operating in an area where Gitpod would be crucial. Uh, and it's the, the, the point there is native work because screenshot updates just requires that you run Jenkins. Right. And then you can you can actually submit either using Git or you can use GitHub's web user interface and create your pull request there. So no no local development. Yeah. Likewise, the uh, inclusive naming, when when they made the changes correctly, uh, did not require a, a recompile because what they were doing was looking for places where they could make safe textual substitutions. And we had told them where they were safe. Now, pipeline, pipeline steps, they definitely, or pipeline help, they definitely did have to recompile. But in that case, the two people who were assigned were both uh, developers who'd been doing development work already professionally for a year or two. 
Um, and it was done done on local computers for them. Because I, I was thinking, of course I wasn't, but that you did do more like the onboarding you had before you actually put them to work, you had some onboarding sessions with them this year, right? Which we did. We, we did, we spent two weeks of, of onboarding. Yeah, and in those two weeks, we tried to, well, for instance, we, we gave them a tutorial on Git and GitHub and the GitHub command line. And it was very well received and they were, all of them were universally grateful for those, those tutorials to get them started. I think they're correct in observing that there's still more to improve in, in getting started. Yeah. All right, anything else on Chicote Africa? Okay, so remaining actions are a blog post, video embedded in the blog post. Zinab asked for that. And then I'll attend the Saturday concluding session. All right, so before we, for me, outdated pull requests is a good thing. I would propose we move these other two ahead of it just to be sure that we get them done. I was gonna say, yeah. So one of the things that we observed in Europe office hours today, Vihan was there, but Kristen had work meetings. Would those of you who are attending this meeting be available if we were to shift the meeting one hour later? This one? Yeah. This meeting? Yeah. I would would that work for you, Kristen, or no? Yeah. Is it yeah. up? Wouldn't for me. I've got dog school dinner. You say mm, okay. it would not work for you, Meg? Right. Oh, um, no. Yeah. Okay. So, if, well, so Meg with dog school, if we shifted 30 minutes later, that would give you at least the first 30 minutes to be with us? Or do you end up needing to leave at half past? I end up leaving a little bit early because I have to go down and I have to basically be at the restaurant by like 8, 10. Ah, okay. All right. Okay. So then time shift may not work. Yeah, I can try like getting to that meeting more, but it's just today was there was a lot going on. And I'm like, like support I'm... person, like this the support rotor this sprint. So like um, any <laughs> questions coming in about any of our stuff, it's like all hitting me. So it's like, oh man, I had a lot, just a lot going on. I was really upset I couldn't be there, but. And and not a problem, Kristen. We, okay, sorry. We've, <laughs> we've got it covered. No, no problem at all. We've got it covered and you can all, certainly always schedule separately with Vihan at some other time. Yeah, it we're, we're trying to, to get that together. So. I'm, I was hoping that I was hoping I could really go to this meeting. It's like just didn't pan out today with stuff Understood. that happened on our team. But yeah, so we're trying to meet separate, like at a different time too. But I did honestly want to encourage like coming to Doc's hours. And I did say to him, it's like just even if you don't have to say anything, you don't have to, you don't feel forced to share anything. Just <laughs> like right. you, can, you can just come and listen. But hopefully, you know, when we get to the point where we the coding period, period starts and stuff, we will have stuff to share. So. <laughs> By just even Good. just attending and listening as a fly on the wall doesn't either. Yeah, I mean, I I'll, I'll try to get there. Kristen be here than Meg. So great. Okay. So now then on to the next time topic. I'm out of the office next week, goofing off in Pittsburgh. My son has promised to take me to see his Jenkins installation where he where he controls the builds of robot software. Oh wow. And wow. we're gonna go play in, in, in the eastern cool. US. Uh, cool. Any, I don't know if any of the rest of you have access to the Zoom account, so I'm prone to say, let's just cancel the meeting. Any objections to canceling? No, I'll have company. It actually works nicely for me. Okay, so Meg, I'm having difficulty hearing you, but you're okay with that? I'm good with that, yes. Okay, great. Okay, um, Diraj, Kristen, are you okay if we cancel the meeting for next week? Sure. Yeah, I'm okay. All right, great. Last topic then, outdated pull requests. And so, I have about 10 minutes, so, but we can do something. Every little bit helps, right? It, it, well, 
look what we've done so far. A week or two ago, the oldest poll request in the queue was September of 2019. And now we've moved it up. So it's November of 2019. So we're two months newer. Right. And this one is one I have to work on. So I, it's, this is the internationalization one. Okay, so are you ready to, to do some, some more reviewing? Sure. Yes. Okay, so actually let's, let's take this one. I'm not sure that vocabulary updates, this one was put on hold because job and project. There was, yeah, we didn't have the agreement in the community, right? Well, and I think we still don't, right? So what we have is in SIG, interoper, in the interoperability SIG, they've used the word job to describe what the Jenkins project calls right at the moment project. But the, the barrier there was Tyler, for instance, felt like really, and, and others who know the Jenkins object model say, look, it's not a project, or it, it's, not a, it's not a job. Job is a very specific thing in, a, in the Jenkins object model. And for me as a user, I'm, I'm less concerned about the object model and more concerned that when I refer to the thing that's running, uh, I call it a job, or I call it a, bu a build is running, and the thing that defines it is a job. Yeah. So maybe I guess I'm now ar argued myself into the position we leave this one open. Well, but is it really open? I mean, I'm almost wondering if it was there an associated issue with this in the first place? There there was. It came from so it came from fix the terminology in the glossary, this issue report. Or no, it came from this. Yeah, here we go. CDF interoperability SIG made this change to use the words job and now is declared, hey, project is synonymous with job and then goes through other, other descriptions. And so job now fits That showing is merged. This right. So this is the yeah. this is notice the destination CDF Foundations interoperability SIG. Okay. So right now the the CDF interoperability SIG is inconsistent with the Jenkins glossary. The Jenkins glossary proposes here to say, hey, let's change this to match so that we use job to describe the definition of the thing, build describes the, the single execution of it, et cetera. I don't know, it's, I mean, I'm almost wondering if the glossary should reflect that there are different camps on this. Oh, oh and it, it does have things that are deprecated terms in it. Right. Right, so for instance, Today, its job says a deprecated term. Project, let's find project. It will now say a deprecated term synonymous to job. So they both exist and they're both in the glossary. It's just which is the preferred term and which is not. And that's what I'm saying. Could we put a note in that says, you know, SIG operability defines this as such and such. And some members of the Jenkins community do not agree with this or something like that. See, for me, I think I think we should just accept that this one is going to be the definition. Let's just admit we're going to use the word job. And I'm I'm going to disagree with Tyler Croy and say that if he wants if he wants to push, he needs to come back and help us. Uh-huh. Because the more I look at this, the more I think we should just admit we're going to use the word job to describe. Yeah. So Kristen, checking with you, you've got more of a developer hat than I do. Okay, yeah, I was like, well, he hasn't been here for a while too. I was like, like he's kind of like not as involved with the project as he was previously. Mm -hmm. So if this is kind of the direction we're going, like, I think I can see job as a little bit more like you, you run a job. 
Oh my goodness. I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> but. So I, I think for me, for me, this change is the right change. I think yeah. this change makes sense. Now, I think there may be another one like it. Let me see if there's, there's another one here that's also related to the glossary. I thought there were two of them. Nope, I don't see it. Vocabulary is there. That's the one we're reading. I thought there was one from Runcha Ye. No, no, apparently not. I don't see it. Okay. Okay, so back to the question to all of you. Would you be okay with the idea that we accept this one and we're going to merge it? I think so. I still, and I wonder about calling it deprecated or... I don't know when there's when there's a mess in terminology. I kind of like if the glossary, then you don't have to do it everywhere. If the glossary reflects that, so if I look that up, I don't know the history. I know there are, you know, that there are warring camps here. And okay, now I'm not, I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm clear, Meg, on your concern there. Could you say that again? I guess what I'm what I would love, but you know, it's just me, is to. Give the definition that matches the operability SIG. Uh -huh. And note that this is done to match the operability SIG and some members of the Jenkins community prefer the other or something. And just note it. I don't know. And maybe that's too messy. Maybe that's a historian in me that just wants to keep all the history everywhere. Yeah. See, for me, that, 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 okay, I admit it, that does, that feels to me like that is messier than I want it to be. But, but, Keep, keep going, persuade, help me understand. So the idea then is that it's important for people to understand that. If I'm that, glossary because I'm in a discussion and some people are talking about a job and some are talking about a project and I want to know what the difference is. And, uh -huh. I, uh, and I've got partisans of the opposite way. It can choose, you know, so then do I stand up to one really, I'm a junior person, I stand up and say, no, no, that's the wrong meaning of job according to glossary and maybe that's what we want. I mean, uh, I don't know, but I, uh, I've done, I mean, a lot of places in the, I've, I've had to write docs that say, some people say you should do it this way. And some people say you should do it that way. I've sometimes even given arguments for it that, so that then you know the difference between this is true. We all agree on what this is and we don't agree on that, but that's just me and it may mess other people up more. Yeah, see, I, I'm I'm on the on the other people side on this one. So, Diraj and Kristen, open to your comments. I think I do not have a strong opinion on this uh, because it's quite technical. So, I would not say much. Okay. And Kristen? I know. I almost sit there. I was like, I feel like we're reading into like a pipeline workflow, but with like not as high stakes, but like because <laughs> we're not renaming like essential Jenkins components. But um, I. And then we merge it if somebody on the other partisan can always open a new one to challenge it. I would love that. Like a combative pull request. <laughs> but well, but I think part of it is people might not even really notice. And it's more like, I know that we've gone over the whole, what is the colloquial use of this versus like, what is the coding use for the different pieces? And it, uh, if, I almost want to argue, like we should use the colloquial version because that's how people are going to reference it. Are you See, and, and I think that matches with my thought. And I know in terms of the colloquial use, in terms of the conversational use, yes. I use the word job. Yes. I, I use the word job very f because this project for me has a different meaning. It means something that has a defined start, a defined end. And I'm, I'm rather rigorous about the use of that word. So I naturally misuse in, in the old context and called it a job. Yeah, that's. And Tim Jacome had the same observation for me. He just always calls it a job. 
I think even if we go into Gitter or any of the other thing, everyone even calls it jobs or right. builds, like build for a single run of a job. And it's like like that exact definition. So, Ex- exactly. Yeah. The result, <laughs> result like, of a single job, execution of a job yeah, is build. And, right. So and like, you oh. just, we, we described it very fluidly. And I think having the glossary f- say something different is, is not, not helping people. Right. So imagine if someone came to ask a question and they had gone to the glossary first and then they asked the question using the terms in the glossary, would people be able to understand what they're talking about and help them? Right. Exactly. You know, it's like, it's like even if project is technically what it's called in the code, I, sometimes things change. I mean, workflows, as we say, workflow is still all through the plugin, even though we call it a pipeline. I think mm-hmm. that it might be even though it's called a project in the code, it's referred to as a job. Like and right. It needs to go the other direction. Right. Okay, cancel. I'm gonna have to go read this one more because there are some plural, plural oh, no. misuses okay. of plurals here that I need to understand. Is it oh it's pipelines is pipeline yeah we're getting that's correct so So it's the second half here that needs to be and then in that case it should not be capitalized it's plural lowercase got it oh how did i make that mistake comma oh no comma whoops (laughs) seriously mark's typing is defective Okay, plural and not uppercase and not a proper noun. Okay, got it. And back to regular screen. Yeah, so check those and then merge it. Yeah. I think this is going to continue to be a mess because. And I don't think it, we, can, we can't. And the, fixing the glossary or not fixing the glossary is going to change that. So yeah, right. it, it, yeah, it's <laughs> you're right. It's like it's kind of people are just going to use what they what they're used to using, and but, and people have been and you know in the founding years of Jenkins, mm-hmm. being careless with terminology. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So sure. uh, so we'll embrace it. And we'll love it. It'll be okay. <laughs> Right. Okay. So in general, it sounds like, so Meg, I think you've come to be persuaded that you'd be okay if we merged this. Oh yeah. I, I was all, yeah. Okay, good. Then I'm going to schedule it to be merged when the, uh, I mean, I think the alternative is to close it and go back to the original issue and make that point to this PR and that we could not get community agreement on it. And so we closed it. And if you really care, you can open it up. And right. And merge it. Yeah. So let's open the new one and start it all over again if they want to. Let's let's go with this one then and we're gonna let it merge. Now we have officially run out of time, Meg, for you to be able to to make your appointment. Yes. Is there anything else? We we are now below the 30 open pull request threshold. Oh, no. Woohoo! Oh, no. Wait a sec. We've still got 30 open. We just closed. Oh, no, it hasn't closed yet. We will be below 30 within the next 30 minutes. And we know the one is the automated change log. So that's a big plus. <laughs> I'm always seeing the change log ones. Right. right. So, yeah. <laughs> so we've got two change, two change logs and this suspensions. This one is sort of mechanical and dependent on something downstream of it or upstream okay. of it. Well, but at least we, and we know that that has a definite date. So cool. It does. Great. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. We're making progress. Anything else we should review while we're here today? No. Okay. Let's call our session done. I'll stop the recording. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.